I'm Crescent Dragon Wagon. I'm a writer and a teacher of writing, and I'm also a daughter. I'm the daughter of Charlotte Zalvatau. Here's how Charlotte looked when she was much younger than she is now. She was an editor for many, many years. She edited people like Paul Fleischman, Paul Zendel, Fran Manushkin. She worked with and edited Maurice Sendak. She was the discoverer and tireless working for Francesca Lea Bloch. But she was also a writer. Here's maybe one of her best known books that Maurice Sendak illustrated, Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present. My mother, having given so much to readers, both as an author and indirectly as an editor, is now in a unique position. Charlotte is now 97 and has a team of fantastic caregivers. I want to tell you a little bit about one of them, Howard Diallo. When I was a little girl, I started going to school in West Africa until I turned 13 and a half to take me out of the school. Who took you out of the school? My parents. Why? Because they want me to get married. She didn't get many breaks in life, but perhaps the break that is most poignant that she didn't get that really struck me and Charlotte was the fact that she never learned to read and write. When I walk into this house, I feel like the first thing, honestly, honestly, I feel like I am in my mother house. I feel so comfortable, I don't know, for some reason. And I saw these books. The first thing I say, oh God, I hope I can read these books mm -hmm. by myself. Mm -hmm. English is Hawa's fourth language. Her first was Fulani, her second was French, because the French colonized the country she was born in, which is Mauritania. Her third language was Wolof, because when she was forced to flee Mauritania, she went to Senegal, and that's the language there. And her fourth language is English. I feel same. Why my I am grow up woman like forty something year old. I can't read. I know it's not my fault. That was in my dream. My dream was to continually going to school until I have my my degrees before I get married. If I have to get married, but then thirteen year old, I can't decide nothing for myself. If you've ever stop to think about what not reading would be like. Not to be able to read the prescription directions on a, on a bottle of medicine. Not to be able to follow a list or write a list, let alone the world that you don't have when you don't read. Without reading is terrible. I can't help my children to do their homework like their friends, parents can help them. So it was not easy for me at all. So Charlotte gave her, in lieu of a raise, we began having somebody come here to do literacy tutoring. A wonderful woman named Suzanne Leek. I remember one day you said to me, oh honey, I wish I see you only in years so I can educate you because you have a lot of possibilities. You make my tears drop. Anytime I have my tutoring class, I when I go back to ask Charlotte, I'm doing exactly what you want me to do. I am practicing reading and writing. Charlotte say, good for you, good for you, honey. Howa is not there yet. She's on the road. She needs probably another six to eight months of literacy tutoring to get there. Charlotte is tapping out on her money. We've got enough for her. I'm not asking for help for Charlotte. But we can't continue to pay out of our own pockets for Howa's literacy teaching. A week of literacy teaching, two sessions, $75 each, is $150. I am raising a few thousand dollars so we can get Howa reading. And help me help one person who so deserves it, read. You can see the details on the site that we've got the link on. Do it if you love Charlotte's books.
Do it if you like me. Do it because it's the right thing to do. And do it because in some small way you will help heal the world and you will be helping someone who will also and is also healing the world right now. Thanks. Now I am learning how to read and write, Charlotte. Thank to you. It's a good thing to hear. Good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because it was and is enormous time to read and to write. Is there answer to the world? <laughs>